this video is primarily going to be about uh, magnets. Actually, it's all going to be about uh, Harbor Freight magnets, but uh, it is somewhat Cherokee related because I use a lot of them for storage solutions in my XJ, and uh, I also use them all over my garage. And since I found quite a few uses for them, I thought uh, I'd go ahead and, and share some of that with you. A um, couple of these magnets you can get for free at Harbor Freight. Other ones are, are just relatively cheap. This doesn't cover all of them. It just covers the ones that I've found to be most useful. So to start with, you've got the, uh, the parts holder, which I'm sure a lot of people already have. And that is uh, the 4-inch magnetic parts holder. I've got a ton of these. I, I use them inside uh, the Cherokee to keep small parts from rattling around. I use them inside my toolbox for small drill bits, and, and they're great to have if you do need to, to work on your vehicle to throw nuts and bolts in or uh, small drill bits in so they don't go all over the place. Um, but since you can pick them up for free, it's, it's definitely worth it. The one that I find most useful is the 18-inch tool holder. And this I have uh, a bunch of uses for. Uh, you'll notice that uh, probably uh, they all come with different model numbers. And this one here, if you can see it there or not, ends in uh, 433. And out of all the 18-inch uh, magnetic holders, I've noticed that uh, the 433 has the, the widest surface as well as the uh, strongest magnetic capabilities, so I try to pick those up whenever I can. But all of them work really well and uh, have pretty impressive uh, strength to them, actually. I even have one in the top of my XJ that I'll show you that, that's strong enough to even hold a, a handgun in place. But these things here, uh, you can also get. They're just small magnets. I think they come in packs of two, and they're always for the price of 99 cents. I don't think I've ever seen them different than that. You can't get them free. I don't ever see them go cheaper than 99 cents. Uh, but one thing that I wanted to point out in this video is how you can get a bunch of these out of this, which is free. So we're gonna bake these uh, a little bit later. And uh, these actually have a bunch of uses and, and I'm about to to use it for something else that I, that I got free that I'll also talk about. Uh, and then the other one that I use are these hook magnets and I think they're about three to four dollars for a pack of four but if you wait for like a three-day sale they usually have them in a box for two dollars for a pack of four and at two bucks they're they're definitely worth it I use them again all over my garage and then I also use them inside uh, the Cherokee one to even hold up my phone and, and I'll show you how I do that as well so like I said this is it's it's more of a storage solution video but that's kind of why I created this channel I wanted to share my storage solutions but I'll also show you how I use them in my shop and and uh, the many uses that you can get out of the two free ones um, mostly the, the the tool holder and uh, hopefully you can get some use out of these yourself so since some of you might be watching this just because they want to see how I use them on my XJ I'll go over that part first um, primarily, uh, it's those three magnets right there, the hook, the, the toolbar, and the, uh, the holder. Um, I actually use them on the ammo can that I have attached to my rear tire carrier. And I have a couple of these usually on here. And, and if I'm working on something, I can just throw my wrench up there and know where it's at. I actually used one like that. And stuck my phone up there since I have a, a some metal on the back of my phone case and used it to film some people behind me on the trails which worked really well of course I had a guy the guy directly behind me with the walkie-talkie so he could tell me if it fell off but it didn't go anywhere and it was a great way to to get some cool videos um, since I didn't have my GoPro with me inside here I usually have one or two and that, you know, again, if I need to work on anything and uh, that my tools are in one of those ammo cans and I usually keep one in there as well. And that way I'm not losing anything um, if I'm out on the dirt trying to loosen anything or, or fix anything. And then I also have one back there that I use um, when I'm camping and I'll attach uh, that lantern. It um, has a magnet on the bottom of it as well and it keeps that in place. So as far as the hooks go, I since this part of your roof, the roof rails here are metal, I've attached uh, hooks there. And in, that case, in this case, I usually don't have this when I'm driving. I just put it up there for the video. But 
you know, my head lantern, and then I can put scarfs up here, and it holds everything in place. Um, when I'm sleeping in the Jeep, I can hold this small lantern up here, and it makes it uh, easy to access. And then I usually have a towel that has a gram grommet on it, and I put grommets and other towels and, and just hang it there. You could even use it as a curtain um, by putting grommets on the ends of a towel and putting a hook at the front of the window and one at the rear. And uh, that actually does work. I've, I've tried it, and uh, it does keep the light out. Um, you can use that all the way up uh, to, I believe, the passenger seat, and then beyond that, it is plastic, so you can't use them beyond that. And as you can see, I've got one up there. So it's great for just keeping miscellaneous things. The towels I usually keep uh, in place all the time because they don't rattle, and uh, the, the, the scarfs as well. And other little things depending on uh, what I have at the time. But for camping uh, or, you know, just when you're not mobile in your Jeep, it, it does come in handy for just keeping things easily accessible. As far as the tool bar, um, hopefully you can see this in the light, but I've attached one. And I think I talked about it on a video that I made on the headliner. And I actually attached it with screws to the cross rail. And uh, I think I go into how I found that cross rail through the, the headliner so that I didn't go through the roof. But as you can see, I've got, this is just a small spring field, but it does hold a uh, full-size Glock that's loaded. Um, I wouldn't recommend driving around with it like that all the time, and especially if you've got conceal issues in your state. Um, but just wanted to show you that it is tough enough to actually hold that in place up there but i use it for other tools and things i've got my tire pressure gauge i've got a couple more there and then like a bottle opener and some of the things that i use on occasion but uh i've actually had a handgun up there on the trails and it never came down i don't recommend it because it could fly off and give you a nice uh hit in the head um, but that is another way that i've used it and i probably use this magnet the most i'm always getting uh, a couple of other tools that I have up there. So another use that I've found for the hook magnet is for holding uh, the case on my phone. And as you can see, it, I, I need to put a flat metal piece on here. I don't keep this in my pocket all the time. I only put my phone on this case uh, when I want uh, to have it uh, in view when I'm on longer trips. But uh, in this case, I've just used tape and some washers. And by doing that, it just sticks up on my dash. So what I did is I took apart the hook magnet and this just unscrews and then I took a pointed uh, screw and put it through the back and as you can see it there and just put it right into the, the plastic of the dash. I, I picked up another one of these if for whatever reason I changed my mind and don't want to see the hole. Um, but I've already got a spare one of these, which only cost me a few dollars at the junkyard. Uh, but I went right into the dash in the location that I wanted. And I've actually thought about sticking a few more on here for other little things. But by doing that, I'm able to have my phone secure and be able to look at Waze or GPS or anything and uh, not have to keep the phone in my hand or, or look in another location of the vehicle and keep my eyes on the road. So that's worked out really well. Um, it does, uh, it will loosen a little bit, um, so I do have to retighten it on occasion. Um, and I've thought about just putting some Loctite or some glue behind the, uh, on the screw threads to keep it in place better. But I've had that there for about a year and um, I use it all the time. So this is one of the most recent uses I've found for this on my last uh, camping trip. <clears throat> and this is a super easy way to set up shade or to block uh, rain. And that's exactly what happened and why I put this up. I ended up bringing some of the 18 inch magnetic tool holders and thought this up uh, because it was starting to rain and it worked great. So all I did was take these tool holders uh, with the magnetic side down obviously and then you rest them down against the gutter rail here and on the other side just string it to some kind of fixed point whether it be a tree uh, a post or anything like that um, I bring paracord with me so it's really easy to just tie up to something even as far as 40 feet away 
and that night it rained like crazy it was windy and this thing did not move at all and so i have a tool holder there i have one on the other side and since you're using it with the tarp underneath you're not really going to scratch your paint and that night i had a, a bigger tarp so i ended up bringing the tarp down here and putting another tool holder here uh, but what this allows you to do is get into your jeep and not get wet so even though i had umbrellas back here uh, protecting us from the rain and with the hatch open uh, we needed to get in and out of the vehicle and this was a great way to do it um, super easy to set up takes no time at all and super easy to take down so this is probably one of the best uses i found for those magnets you can just throw them in a bag, throw them in the back of your vehicle, whatever, and uh, it's instant shade, instant protection from rain. And I'll definitely be using this on the cross-country trip uh, to set up some shade real quick. So other than that, I think that's pretty much everything that I've done in the Jeep using the magnets. But if you think of anything else, uh, feel free to leave them in the comments. I'm sure there's a lot more uses for them out there. Uh, but as far as my shop goes, um, this is a, a stand-up tool chest where, as you can see, I use a lot of the hooks for keys. I've got uh, safety glasses over here hanging on them. I've got, uh, these are just some of my grandfather's tools, and I've got a magnetic tool holder up there so that I, I use those on occasion. And uh, that's just one bar, and that holds quite a bit of weight. You can put large wrenches on there. And uh, as you can see, I've got new ones there. I've got the new ones there that I was showing earlier. And over here, I've got more new ones there and there. Um, and then I've got more of the uh, parts holders. Um, and I've actually got more than what I just showed you, but I, I pick them up all the time because they're free and because I have so many uses for them. And then where I use the most of the tool holders, this tool chest here, I used to have to lean back on a dolly and my tools would go everywhere um, where I was working on my Jeep and where I had to keep this thing were, I don't know, it was like 100, 200 feet away. So I'd have to lean this thing back on a dolly and get it out to where I needed to work on my Jeep. So what I did is I took a bunch of the tool holders and put them together and then secured them with these small, uh, actually I think those were um, socket uh, holders, and secured the magnets with those, and I've got uh, probably about 10 of them lined up here. And my sockets, even the long ones, don't go anywhere, but now that I've got a garage, I, it's uh, nice just to keep all my sockets organized and in place. And then I went ahead and I've got another one there that keeps everything organized for my ratcheting wrenches. Uh, all my pliers uh, are always easy to get to. Um, extensions, wobble extensions are all on magnetic tool holder. And like I said, it just makes it super easy to get at things. And then I've got all my screwdrivers lined up so that I can always see everything. And I think that's about it. Actually, that's a magnet I took out of a speaker. And I've used that on occasion to hold things in place. But uh, as you can see, I've, I've used quite a few of the 18-inch the magnetic tool holders. And then, like I said, I've got the, the parts holders uh, everywhere. I've got them on the side of, of my tool chest. So I just roll this over near my Jeep when I'm working on things. And then I use them for the, the smaller bits so that I can just grab that, put the whole thing uh, at my Jeep and... and not have to worry about coming back and forth and getting them out of here and then uh, one of these places like on this one uh, i've actually got a bunch of my bits in there and then that just stays in place and then i can pick this up and, and take it and put it on anything metal and have uh, all those bits accessible at any time and then this here i started buying these uh, magnetic tool holders off of amazon but i think these were like six bucks a piece um, so i ended up, only ended up with two of them before i found uh, the harbor freight freebie deal and now that's all I ever use so next what I'll show you is how I get a bunch of these out of this because that's all these are made of um, it's just uh, what you've got here is plastic or uh, 
tape that goes over the whole bar and underneath that tape is a bunch of these so I will show you how I get those out and then I also use those or I took this one off but you know I'll use those here and then just keep like my razor blades on it or anything else uh, that's magnetic it makes it handy just to grab and go one other thing I forgot to show is I've taken uh, one of the magnetic tool holders, uh, the 18 inch bars, and just laid it across this wire rack uh, that has uh, the open sections. And it's not secured up there with anything, but it's just laying with the face down and I'm able to take these jars that have metal lids and attach them uh, to the magnet so that I can see uh, what I'm getting at. In this case, it's only snaps because they're light, but what I am going to do after I bake these is I'm going to take out the little magnets and attach them to the top here so that it's stronger. I'll either do that or I'm going to take uh, just parts off metal plates and attach that to the top of this because it's just not enough surface area and, and this metal isn't that good a grade of metal so uh, it, it only holds lightweight, um, not a whole lot, but uh, once I do that to a bunch of the jars I can add heavier things to it so that they won't fall down and it'll make it easy to see different things that I want to get at. So next I'll go ahead and bake these. I've set the oven already at 200 degrees and I'll show you how easy it is to get these small magnets out. Okay so these have been baking I don't know for about uh, 20 minutes at about 200 degrees and let's see if uh, so just of pliers and pull off the tape and then there you can see the magnets so we've got three six eight of them in there and then all you need to do really is get in here I how I did this last time but they should I've got a pair of gloves on it's probably gonna get a bit warm but just gonna push them out from the corner and there they go. So I just do this to all of them all the way down the line. If I can do it right. And they eventually do let loose. And there you go, there's the second one. So I'll just keep doing that and then uh, you can see there's still glue on there. I actually don't take the glue off, I just let them sit. Uh, on their own. Uh, the glue isn't put on there so thick that uh, it globs up or anything like that, but if you just want to wipe it off you can. And that's it. So I'll just continue doing that for the rest of them and then you've got yourself a bunch of little magnets to use. Um, there's nothing more to it than that. One other thing that I recently decided to do with the magnets is uh, use it on this thing here which I also got from Harbor Freight and they started putting coupons out there for free. Um, it's a light that I guess is supposed to go in a convenient place in the house or something in the hallway or whatever so that you could have light real quick um, but the reason that I got it is because it really does throw off quite a bit of light and Turned off the lights in my garage uh, one night and turned this on and it was pretty impressive how much uh, light it throws out. But it runs off of four AAA batteries. I normally don't pick up things like this because they usually don't last, but I've got a bunch of AAA batteries and, and I'm hoping I'll get a little bit more use out of this than other things that uh, Harbor Freight sells like this. Um, in particular, this one here, but uh, I've noticed that it, it doesn't last very long when you're actually using it for light. We'll see if this thing is any different, but I needed a way to have light in the Jeep uh, when I go camping and especially on the cross-country trip that's coming up, and I thought this would be an easy way to do it. Um, I plan on taking the magnets that I just took off, and these actually fit in work on the inside middle rail there and have a good grip on them. So I'm going to use one of those magnets. I'm going to take this plate that I got, which is just a metal plate from a paint company that uh, was used for testing, and I'm going to cut a section of it off, glue it to the back of this, 
and then I'll be able to have light um, within reach on both sides of the vehicle and, and with how much light this throws off it'll it'll light it up really well so that's uh, my plan for right now and if you have any other suggestions on other ways to use the magnets or you know storage ideas or anything like that even in your shop feel free to leave the comments below and thanks for watching and please subscribe